When the FK8 Honda Civic Type R came out, you either loved this car or hated it. But you couldn't deny that Honda perfectly engineered the hot hatch in this 306 horsepower front wheel drive masterpiece. The car has aged well in my opinion, and anyone who has one should keep it forever. I'm so happy that my friend Daniel let me work on and film his very cool, very blue Type R. And so here we are, welcome back to Metalube. Today we're doing an oil change on a 2020 Honda Civic Type R with the impressive 2.0 liter K20C1 turbocharged inline four engine. The FK8 generation covers 2017 to 2021. All the parts and tools you see here, along with the specifications, are in the description below. While we pop the hood, I wanted to take a minute to ask you to subscribe and hit like. Look, there's a lot of great resources for Type R's out there, but your support gives me more opportunities to work on amazing cars like this. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Let's get back into it. As you can see here, make sure you properly grab foam when securing the hood. Now that the hood is propped up, we can confirm the grade of oil on the oil cap. You'll see the API oil standard starburst as well, showing that the Type R requires ILSAC GF6A standard oil. Leaving the cap off will help drain the oil later. Let's also check the dipstick to confirm the oil level and condition. The oil level seems good, and the oil color looks fine. No problems here. This Type R has a Mishimoto catch can, which is linked in the description below. The owner has also modified it with the drain valve for easy maintenance, also in the description below, which we're using here to drain the oil into this coffee cup. I'm impressed, but not in a good way, at how much oil came out. It's only been a couple thousand miles since the last oil change. With that done, now it's time to jack up the car. We can properly secure the rear wheels with some wheel chocks. You'll see here the jack point for the jack on the driver's side. We're going to leave the jack in place, put a jack stand under the control arm for safety. As just a note, we jacked up this side first because this wheel is where one would start bleeding the brakes. And that video is coming next week. If you're only raising one corner of the car for an oil change though, I would recommend the passenger side. The Type R has an underbody panel that we'll need to remove. There's eight screws holding the panel in place. The two up front require a Phillips head. The other six bolts that you see me pointing to here can be removed using a flathead screwdriver. The ones up front need to be fully unscrewed while the flathead ones release with a quarter turn. Careful, since they will fall out. Make sure you put all the screws somewhere where you won't lose them. The panel comes out with a small tug and we can place that to the side. Now that the panel is removed, you can see where the oil drain plug is located, right here. Following that to the other side of the oil pan, you'll see the oil filter housing as well. We'll use a 17 millimeter socket with my favorite 3 8 locking flex head ratchet from GearWrench and hope the last guy didn't over torque the bolts. It wasn't too bad getting it off once I found the right angle to grip the ratchet. While that's draining, we can move on to the spin-on oil filter. The problem I noticed with spin-ons is that they are all designed slightly differently. The OEM Honda spin-on requires a 64mm 14 flute end cap wrench, which means that the Motivix cap wrench I use with my Toyota guides actually works here. In this case, I got lucky and was able to remove it by hand when I tested it. So props to the last lube tech for putting it on only hand tight. If you do end up needing a cap wrench, I'll have it linked in the description below. Give the car a couple minutes to fully drain and we can go prep the new filter. We're using an aftermarket purulator filter, which the owner picked out. I personally like the OEM filter because it comes with a new drain plug washer, which this aftermarket filter doesn't have. We'll take some oil, doesn't matter clean or dirty, and put it on the o-ring to help it seal it also helps to have a glove where the fingers aren't all ripped off by the way back under the car we can put the oil filter back on give the area a wipe with a shop towel to clean up all the spilled oil then just spin on the spin on until it's hand tight i usually go as tight as i can with an oily hand and call it good we'll also put the drain plug back on while we don't have a new washer the old one looks fine make sure it's seated in the same position it was when it came off to ensure that it seals properly We'll tighten the bolt to 30 foot-pounds with our 3 8 torque wrench. Now that we're done there, we can replace the underbody panel. The front panel slides in and that allows you to place the first two Phillip head screws back on. Then the six flathead screws can go back in too. 
When that's done, we can lower the car by removing the jack stand and lowering the jack. Don't forget the wheel chocks as well. Now we can begin filling the oil. The Civic Type R needs 5.7 quarts of oil. We're using Castrol Edge 0W20. You'll see here the same API starburst from the oil cap, which means this oil meets the ILSAC GF6A standard. First, we'll start with 5 quarts. Having a 5 quart jug really makes this easy. When that's done, we'll start the car up to get everything circulating. Then we'll check the dipstick. As you see here, we're about two tenths from the bottom line on the dipstick, and my rule of thumb is that the min line to the max line represents about one quart of oil. That lines up nicely to the 0.7 quarts of oil that we need. Let's open up another bottle and fill the rest of the way. We'll pour a little at a time and try to eyeball 0.7 quarts. Then we'll check the oil one more time. On the dipstick, it looks like we're right at the max line, so that's pretty good. With the oil fill complete, let's get inside the vehicle and reset the maintenance reminder. In the Type Bars infotainment, we'll navigate from Settings to Vehicle, and then here in the Vehicle Settings, we can scroll down to the Maintenance Info. You'll see here on this screen we're due for both the engine oil and brake fluid. We did bleed the brakes as well, but that video is coming next week. So for now, we'll reset all due items. Just confirm on the next screen, and you're set. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this oil change for a 2021 Honda Civic Type R. And if you did, please help me feed the YouTube algorithm with your likes and comments. Next week's video is how to bleed the brakes on the Type R. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss that. I'm Alan, and this is Metaloop. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, look at me. Look at me. You should put that in video. <laughs> I am being recorded right now. I know, but you should put the look at me, look at me, because I got it right. <laughs> look at me.